Thursday afternoon on Mopac, a little before two, a landscaping truck lost its load. Chad Edwards says he was among those who drove into the chaotic scene. People swerving different lanes without blinkers, just trying to avoid this without messing their car up, not thinking, hey, I might hit somebody or this might cause a big accident. Edwards called 911, but only got a recording. I listened to that for 27 times repeatedly. Then it switched to the Travis County Sheriff's Office switchboard. I listened to that five times, and it switched back to the APD switchboard. I listened to that for another 10 times. Then I just I got frustrated. I was already way down the road from it, so I hung up. And about four or five minutes later, APD 911 called me back. Austin 911, do you need police, fire, or EMS? It's protocol for 911 operators to quickly respond to a hang-up call. But waiting about 10 minutes? That's certainly a red flag for retired Austin police sergeant and law enforcement analyst Wayne Vincent. It's just not acceptable that you can't call 911 and talk to an individual within a reasonable time. Uh, this one could have been tragic. They could have called back to an individual that had he got help uh, is now seriously injured or dead. Vincent told me city officials were warned several years ago about increasing response times and a growing staffing problem. Well, it's a money thing. It's always about money and resources, but it's a leadership thing too. The can's been kicked down the road, and now the average citizen, on those rare occasions where they have to call the police, are finding out this crisis is real. Back in October, APD made changes in the way that emergencies should be reported in order to ease the pressure on operators. It was decided that 311 should be used to report crimes that are no longer in progress or to report situations that there's no longer a threat to life or property. The APD supervisor for the 911 center is Lieutenant Ken Murphy. He told me the answer rate for operators is around 93% within 10 seconds of a call coming in, but he admits there was a problem Thursday. During the one o'clock hour, he only had 11 operators on duty and they took 170 calls. In the two o'clock hour, he had 12 operators who logged 158 calls. Adding more people has been difficult. The last two job postings, according to Murphy, produced a total of 30 applicants and only one was eligible to be hired. Part of the problem, starting pay is around $18 an hour. Murphy told me Dallas recently solved its 911 staffing problem by increasing pay to $22 an hour and offering a $3,000 signing bonus. Chad Edwards says he understands the problem, but believes what happened to him can't continue. What if I was on the side of the road dying? I, I, I've been dead. That's exactly what I was thinking. I was thinking that this was ridiculous. Something needs to be done to, to get whatever the problem is fixed.